Hi everyone, what's up? Thank you so much for being here. I don't know why I clap, that is so corny. If you guys are new to my channel, hi, my name is Jessie, and today's video, as you guys have read in the title, is going to be about this bad boy right here. Ah! So I actually saw on Instagram that this is actually available at selected JCPenney Sephora stores, and John Ray and I had a little bit of fight this morning because I wanted to go to Sephora first before going to the movies because I keep on telling him that, babe, you don't understand, like this is, if there's something new, that's not even gonna last in a makeup counter, trust me. It's just like Fenty Beauty that was like super sold out right away, like people going crazy and just like the Moschino. Cause last time I got broken hearted with the Moschino collection. So if you guys are also eyeballing that and you weren't able to get any, girl, I feel you. I got low-key depressed on that. But anywho, I am so happy that I saw this in the counter. And the Sephora girl also told me like, oh my, I asked her like, when did you guys receive this? And she said, I actually, this is, I'm not overreacting. This is how she really said it. Honestly, I don't know. And it, actually, we're not even supposed to sell that right now because it launches this and that. And I don't even know where you found that. That's what exactly what she told me. And I'm like, Oh, I found it here on the display over your counter. And she's like, oh, in the, in your counter. This is the cash register and there is a display on the side where there is one sample and this one left. So I was thinking that other people bought it and this is the only last one. So what I did is that I opened it just, make, just to make sure that nobody swatched it because people are crazy sometimes even if they know that there is a tester already. They're going to open one and they're going to swatch it because they're crazy. <laughs> But anywho, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the swatches. Sorry for that long intro. I was just so excited. When I was actually in line, I was dancing. I know that's embarrassing for Jari, but I don't care. I was happy. But I'm not gonna be like overly happy because what if this one is not as good as what I think it is? So let's go ahead and jump right into the swatches.
Moving on to the brush swatches, I hope you guys do not mind if I just do it this way, but I want to let you guys know what are my thoughts exactly upon swatching these eyeshadows. So I'm going to start with the Absolution. I'm very surprised that this one took only one swipe for the color for the eyeshadow to stick on my skin. I am very impressed because you guys know that they ha this has glitter, but the flecks of glitter does not flip out, so they do not go away. I'm happy that even without a base, it performed very well. Worship, Immaculate, they glide on very smoothly, and you can definitely build up the color as intense as you want it to. So these are more of like... One, two, three, back and forth, one, two, three, back and forth, and they look really nice and smooth, no patchiness at all. Same thing with Chalice. It does the exact same thing. It applied very well, even without a base. For Sacred Heart, I'm not so sure if the color is really like that or it's really light. Of course, if you use your finger, it's going to be more pigmented, but this is what it looks like when you use your brush. I'm not going to say that I have like a difficulty overall, but I feel like this one is a little bit lighter than I have expected it to be. For Amen, Amen to that because it's really pigmented. There is nothing more I could say about it. It's a very good matte pigmented shade, just like what I felt about my Tartlet palette. And Sanctuary is a really nice color. I needed to add it a little bit more. I need to add a little bit more for the color to show up, but it's not as difficult as you think it is. I'm not so sure if it's because of my skin i i don't know for heaven i love the fact that this is just one swipe i know i know it is insane crucifix is weak in my opinion as that for a brown shade and for a brush swatch i think this is a little weak and then you have rosary because i already talked about it it's very easy rosary is really nice as well same thing with the these three right here it applied the same exact thing and baptism i also find that very pigmented and nice so again these are all your saint swatches now let's move on to the sinner gonna give you guys one more look for the brush swatches i'm just really happy that none of them is patchy but i just find this one a little weak for the brush swatches but of course if you use a primer it's gonna get better but I really wanted to know if these babies work on its own. Now these are all your brush swatches from the center side. Now let's talk about Rapture first. As you guys can see, there are three different swatches right over here. I'm going to explain to you why. Aside from all of the colors in the palette, Rapture is the only one that is textured. So you guys know, you guys are already familiar familiar from the Huda Beauty palette, if you, got, if you guys have one. She has some textured eyeshadows there, so it feels exactly the same. So what I did is that first, of course, I grabbed a flat brush because I really want to see what it looks like. So I swatch it like that without a base, so this is what it looks like. So I just use my finger, just a basis. If I try to use a brush with an eyeshadow base. The eyeshadow base that I have used on this one is MAC and it performs really well as, as well. So it's not like it's chipping off or anything like that. It's actually secured in place. And the second shade is Sa Sabbath. And this is what it looks like. It's not the blackest black that you could have ever seen in your life if you swatch it. But when it comes to ashes, this is a kind of color that I have never seen in my entire life. Probably if I'm a um, YouTuber that has like a lot of eyeshadow palettes, I probably have something like this. But I do not own any eyeshadow like this. It has some glitter, green glitters into it. And the flecks of glitter actually flakes off. So I'm guessing that you need a really good primer on this one as well. And the next shade is Martyr, just like me. And I love it. It's so pigmented. Devil is also pigmented. Revelation is the same thing. It has glitter on it, but the glitter goes away. So just make sure that you use a primer. But I think that over time, <laughs> this could double as a matte because, again, the glitter just fades away so again this doesn't have any base all right so the next shade is vestment this is something that I am already the shade of this one is actually familiar with me I've seen this in the many MUA palette I've seen this in a wet n wild palette I've seen this in my tart tardiest pro palette and then the next shade is ministry this is a really nice kind of like an electric blue I love it I never had any problem with swatching any of these 
accept exorcism. By the way, Exodus, I never really expected because it's like a neon color. So I'm like, is this even going to show? And it actually did. And it's exaggerated. I love it. It's so, so bright. This actually reminded me of the green lady. And then the next one is Relic. This is only one swipe, guys. Not even kidding. I didn't even use a flat brush on this one. That's why it made me shooketh to my coreth. I'm like, whoa. Like, whoa. And then the last one that I have here is Stigmata. I already have this kind of color in a lot of my eyeshadow palette. Again, here are all your brush swatches without any base. Yes, yes, I'm gonna, just going to twist my arm. I am going to start with the shade Amen. This is a really nice cream matte color, perfect as a wash color. This eye doesn't have any base. And on this eye, I will be putting MAC Prep and Prime 24-hour extended eye base first before I put in the eyeshadow so that we can see the difference with and without a primer. So yeah, I'm just going to do the exact same thing. Oh my gosh, I look like a freaking clown. You can totally see the difference here, huh? Who is that girl I see? <laughs> now I'm gonna grab EXO just because I have never tried a shade like this ever, so I'm gonna put that on my crease. I'm putting that on my crease because I have no idea. I actually have no idea what I'm doing right now. This is one of those eyeshadow palettes that when you look at it, you don't know what to do with your life because all of the colors are like so overwhelming. You're so excited that you, you definitely don't know what to use. <laughs> now I'm going to get Crucifix because this is the weakest link when it comes to the brush swatches and I want to see it perform. As you guys could see, it is very easy and blendable to apply. I have no problem when it comes to blending because if you have noticed, the EXO dish shade and the crucifix blend out really nicely together. Now for my lid, I will be using Rapture. By the way, I tried using a flat brush for this one, but it doesn't apply that much. So I think it would be best if you put a primer and then directly apply the Rapture above it. Then I'm going to put a little bit of Relic under there, just like that. And then I am going to put Absolution on the inner corner of my eye. So this is the final eye makeup look that I have created today. Alright guys, now it is the end of the video. If you have survived this video, I want to congratulate you for not dying because I'm totally boring. Now, let's talk about the packaging first. Now, this is what the packaging looks like. I forgot to tell you guys more about it earlier because I got all excited and I really wanted to try it out. But I must say that the packaging is A1. It's not travel friendly. Travel friendly. It's not really good when you're traveling because it's a little bit heavy, but it's something that's really nice to keep in your vanity because this is literally aesthetically pleasing. You will be getting one grams per eyeshadow, one grams per eyeshadow, Jesse's just single, one gram per eyeshadow. And the name of the shades, you can actually see that at the back. Now, it opens like this. You flap the center first, and then you got your saint right here. I love the idea that the mirror is right over here, but you know, earlier I was using it, I had a little bit of difficulty, but if you guys are really into makeup, it's not like you don't have any mirror in the house. So um, I really love that they included a mirror, even if it's kind of a little bit difficult to use because you know what? You can actually stand this and you can literally see yourself. My bad. Why didn't I thought of that a while ago? But anywho, I definitely love the packaging. I love it. I love it so much. For the price, I think the price is just right considering you'll be getting a lot of product here and the pigmentation is awesome. Some of the eyeshadows here, especially the textured one and the glitter ones they really do need in my opinion they knew they they need <laughs> they do need a glitter glue kind of 
So in short, to cut all of my bullshit, buy this palette if you love the colors, buy this palette if you are a makeup collector, buy this palette if you feel um, comfortable with the price point. I really think that you will be getting the money that you have paid for. So when it comes to the color options of this palette and the textures, I think it's all gonna boil down to your personal preference. Honestly, I don't even have any complaints with the color options in this palette. The moment I saw this, and the matte shades in this palette is already enough for me to be creative. I know I'm not as creative as today, but I'm just being realistic. The makeup that I have right now in my eye is not as Instagram-y as it looks, but I am telling you, if I go outside, everybody be a kid be like, gonna start to run away and shit, you know what I mean? Like, there's this one time I was working in the store and I have like black lipstick. I said hi to that kid and that kid cried like it felt bad. Anyway, going back... The only thing that I could think of if you do not want to buy this palette is that if you do not like the color or if you're not really comfortable with the price, I know for 65 bucks. Actually, how much with the tax? Where is that? Where is the receipt? I can't find it, but I know it's a little bit costly. I consider this as a gift to myself because I deal with John Ray's bullshit every day, but I really do love it. But yeah, that is pretty much it. I think this is a great palette, perfect for those who collect makeup. I'm, I think I'm gonna buy two, but that's kind of idiotic. We all know that after a week, I'm gonna get bored again and I'm gonna start feeling like I need another palette. So yeah, if you guys find this video helpful, do not forget to subscribe because that makes me happy and that helps me a lot with my channel. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. And even if this is not actually in our budget right now, I really wanted to buy this for you guys so that I would help you make up your mind if you want to purchase this or not and this and that. So feel free to judge for yourself referring to my swatches. I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye!